Oh, hey there, guys. Oh, it's in my fucking eyes. Oh, fucking son of a bitch. Like, imagine this shit in Soviet Russia. They would not have this. Just what you want me to? You want me crucified? Oh, yeah. The Amish are in Florida. Hello, I'm Mediocre Montgomery, and, uh, today... <laughs> Nobody cares until you put on the mask. Nobody cares regardless. <laughs> Hello. I'm Mediocre Montgomery. Welcome back to the Mediocre Militia. I'm joined here... We got a stage name. Dumbass retard. Joined here by dumbass retard. A while ago, I uh, I came across this video about uh, Christian preppers, and I thought, wow, that was really fucking dumb. So uh, I made it a note on my phone. Totally forgot about it for a long time. So then I saw it, and I was like, oh. Okay, so let's just do it. The video starts off with uh, this chick from Ohio. Of course. Yeah, go figure. She's uh, stockpiling Bibles. We bought a couple of cases of Bibles as um, amongst the first preparations that we did. Phil figures when times get hard, God's word will be the first thing people will need. Oh, and you had a really good comment about like the stockpiling Bibles where uh, uh, like, well, they'd make good, uh, <laughs> they'd make a good fire starter. <laughs> They really just have boxes and boxes of Bibles. Uh, I know. They're just gonna walk up to someone during the apocalypse. Would you like a Bible? Yeah. Why do they just get railed by cannibals or something? I'm a cannibal, hombre. We're gonna fucking eat your ass. Like right out of the gate, she's like, "This isn't gonna be a fun thing to live through." It's clear in the Bible that the end times are not gonna be a fun time to be around. So you kind of ask the question, why? Why try to live through it? You can't kill yourself, and they're waiting for the rapture. And, I, you know, that was my immediate thing, was like, aren't you supposed to get raptured? But apparently there's some bullshit <laughs> clause about how you can uh, get raptured during the middle or after all the seven years of turmoil. So, yeah, but I mean, like, conceivably, you could still go to heaven if you just step outside, <laughs> arms spread, and let the demons rip you apart. So they're like, this is the end. <laughs> or just like, let some lunatic shoot you. It's just flying up in the head. So yeah, I don't know. The The rapture thing didn't really seem to make any sense. Uh, I guess you could wait for the rapture if you want to go peacefully. The rapture might be, you know, unmitigated pain as you like, get your soul ripped out of your <laughs> fucking body and yanked into the sky. She said she was an ordained minister, and I had never mentioned it on the channel before because I finally found my, my Bible. I'm actually an ordained minister under the uh, Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, and uh, I've, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, finalized, for lack of a better word, <laughs> a marriage. 100% <laughs> factual. I kept asking myself, you know, like, they're, like, throughout this video, they are constantly hyping up how in intense the end times are going to be. <laughs> no. It's going to be like the second coming of Christ. And I thought Christ was supposed to be merciful. You know, like the the lamb, the shepherd of the lambs, or... Some shit. Instead, we get silence of the lambs with, you know, fucking murderers running through the street and cannibals and... Psycho looting on a scale you've never even been able to conceive of. Truly going to be the literal biblical proportion type disaster. And uh, along with that has to be just massive civil unrest. Like, I mean, isn't he like the all powerful son of God or better yet, why doesn't God do something? Why, why does there even have to be this <laughs> suffering and anguish in the first place? Because we fucked up. So about the, the shall not kill. Oh my god. Just because the Hovatters are Christians who love thy neighbor doesn't mean they're not ready to defend their preps. I don't get it. Sue so literally just like stretched the will of the Bible. He's like, 
It's transcribed to shall not kill in English, but they actually mean shall not murder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. From Christian perspective, the Ten Commandments in common English say thou shalt not kill. A better translation of that passage would be thou shalt not murder. God doesn't sanction murder. <laughs> you serious? That's murder. Uh, so all of these these people are stockpiling food like crazy, right? There's there's a quote here from Deuteron yeah. Deuteron what the fuck Deuteronomy fourteen twenty eight Deuteronomy Deuteronomy <laughs> and it and it says at the end of every third year you shall bring out all the fights. What the fuck is that word? <laughs> I wrote it down. I should have looked it up. Tithe. Here I am being the fucking, the, the big smart atheist. Anyways, all the blank of your produce in that year. And all, ugh, and shall deposit it in your town. So. <laughs> what? The end times are seven fucking years. So at least twice. You are required by your god to take all of your food and shit. And deposit it in what's left of your fucking town. How do you how do you go about that? How do you go about that? These devout fucking Christians didn't plan for this, yet they know the they know the book. <laughs> and, and and jumping back to like the murder thing, it's it's almost like when shit hits the fan, these Christians just abandon all of their fucking values and shit and start cherry picking and well well it's not actually murder. Don't you think like Keeping food from starving people would like, go against one of the Ten Commandments. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're supposed to <laughs> deposit your food every three years in the town, and, or like give all your money and shit to the poor. Give all your food, you know, like. Yeah, that was when some like starving person comes up to him and asks for food. Like, yeah. No. Exactly. <laughs> Get the mini 14. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Please, sir. I want some more. Sir, I want some more. <laughs> what? Like, you motherfuckers ain't built for it. <laughs> One problem I have with, like, Doomsday Preppers in general is, like, where they all have gold, they, like, all of them buy gold for some reason and think that they can be able to trade it in the apocalypse. And he'll start trading in gold. You can just barter with it. It's a, a means of barter. People recognize gold as a, a store of wealth, as something of value. I like mean, someone's on a carry. I see how it's more valuable than paper money. Yeah. Because at least like, it's like a metal <laughs> that can be used for something. I'm pretty sure if like America gets EMP, no one's gonna give a shit about gold. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna give a shit about like chickens. Yeah, and like mags and shit. <laughs> and like whether where, where they're like uh comparing it to currency, it's like this is worth like Yeah. Like this little chunk is worth like three thousand two hundred dollars. And it's like, well, Currency isn't worth shit anymore, so it doesn't really matter what the gold originally was worth. It's so one guy that was in Georgia, and he looked like such a, a tool. <laughs> and he had like his kids in the garage with a fucking airsoft gun. And he's like <laughs> teaching them how to disarm or some stupid <laughs> shit like that. He believes prepping is part of every. Cr and I did like some Steven Seagal shit, like sidestep and like grab the gun. And it was like a, oh, he was, was like, giving him I don't know, it was like an eight-year-old girl doing it to him. Yeah. He's like, oh, nice job, nice it, job. He had, he had to have had the most limp-wristed <laughs> grip on that and it was fucking so gun slow. to take that thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Literally just... Like, I mean, who the fuck is gonna hold a gun to someone like this close? Exactly. <laughs> Pull the trigger! Do it! Do it, motherfucker! Pull the trigger! Well, another thing about the guns is... They, they are stockpiling these firearms, right? So it's like, they have no faith in the Lord. Uh, they have, all their faith is in these fucking guns. They, they don't have, they don't think Jesus is going to come and save them. They don't think, like, any of the angels are going to come and save them. Uh, they know. Because they're not that fucking stupid when shit hits the fan. 
Gabriel isn't gonna come out of the fucking sky with a sword of fire and slice the motherfucker in half. No, they have to deal with it because that's bullshit. There's really been people in like past wars that are super religious, like that one movie, the Hacksaw. Yeah, Wars. I was literally, I wrote that down in my notes. Yeah. I was like, take it. If you're that fucking devout, Desmond Doss went through World War II against Talk the Japanese, did not carry a firearm. He was a conscientious objector. And these people were intentionally there to kill him, and he made it. So if you actually believe in the power of prayer, <laughs> submit your firearms to people that are actually going to use them and see how that fucking goes for you. Oh, but right, you're not going to because that's fucking stupid, and you know it's bullshit. Christ is coming. They keep uh, quoting this one quote from the Bible about, like, uh, pestilence and famine and earthquakes... And it's like, I mean, do they have, like, any idea how much, like, their preps won't even fucking really matter? Like, the ones growing stuff, and the guy with, like, the catfish pond, as if that's not gonna split open and <laughs> sink into the earth. I mean, or the guy who, like, put, like, a, a bunker underground, as if that's not just gonna get crimped by fucking landslides. Yeah, and, what you said I, earlier, where fucking, uh, I don't know how, how many people died or whatever, because I... Once again, they read the fucking Bible. They're like, it, it's not even gonna compare. It's gonna be way worse than oh, Noah's what happened Ark. in Noah's Ark. We're talking about an apocalyptic event of unprecedented proportions. I mean, you talk about Noah's flood, that's nothing compared to what we're talking about here. If, if it, how can it be worse? If it was worse than Noah's Ark, then no one would be alive. No one would be alive. Everyone would be fucked. The only fucking things that survived were the animals that Noah and his family Saved, and that's with preparation. Literally. If it's worse, there's nothing left. <laughs> you might as well not even prepare. How can it be worse than a worldwide flood? Oh, I know. How do you survive it? Like, <laughs> I know. What? And none of these motherfuckers have a boat, which is even <laughs> even fucking. It's not even a part of their preps. Very last thing, but it's the first thing you should put in your bag: the Bible. And I believe you should have the Bible with you in your bug out bag because that's going to be your manual and your word. This is the ultimate survival manual. It will give you all the answers, and it has the word of God in it. <laughs> and the guy who's like, I love the quote where he's like, I got, I got angels of God surrounding me. And those demons out there outside my door, oh, yeah. puking up their guts. Yeah. It's like, is that why you're prepping, dude? Because <laughs> the angels are there to help you? Yeah, it was like some dude in Texas who spent like half a million dollars on this fucking setup. He's like, I will not even disclose my full name. Yeah. I guarantee you, you can't see it, but I'm surrounded by God's angels right now. And Satan and his fallen angels are standing outside that door right now, puking their guts up about me telling the, the truth. It's like, he's so confident in like the the aid of the angels and everything. But here he is, yeah, again, like wasting all that money. It would be a waste if he actually believed it. That's why this is bullshit. Are you puking your guts up? Dude? <laughs> like, what is that analogy? Like, I what know. the fuck is that supposed to mean? It's the demons deep. outside my door puking their guts up. Like, who's man's? Yeah. <laughs> it really doesn't make, make sense. I don't know. Like, like, what is he referring to? <laughs> yeah. Like, if he had said, like, they're out there planning my demise, that would have made more sense if he was like, that's why I'm prepping. But he's just like, they're just out there fucking puking. <laughs> okay. Demons, yeah, really, that's about all I have. You got any concluding statements? Fuck furries. Okay. Boy. Uh, like, sub, and share uh, if you enjoyed my content for some reason. Smash that really fucking like button. <laughs> Am I right, guys? If you uh, think I'm a complete and total fucking idiot, leave a hateful comment. Um, Please. Jesus. <laughs> Who's man? Oh!